I'm Scott Walker and this is Walks on the Wild Side. Wow, what a morning. Firstly, welcome to Walks on the Wild Side. My name's Scott Walker and I'm a nature photographer. Uh, so I've set up this channel to document some of what I do. Um, this first video is about the annual deer rut. And the footage you see has been taken across a number of sites over a couple of weeks. It's been a difficult season for the deer rut because the weather's not really been conducive to the kind of photos you want to take. You've not been getting this, the cold weather that you need. Uh, you want to see a stag in the early morning mist bellowing and you see its breath come out as it does so. Um, but it's been much warmer than that, but not today. Look at this glorious fog. So I'm really hoping that today we can produce something good. But the, the, the footage that you see and the shots that you see have been taken across a couple of weeks from a number of sites. Um, I hope you enjoy. Uh, if you do, please give me my first like, uh, subscribe, and you'll see more about the nature photography that I do coming up in future videos. Thanks very much. just seen jackdaws in a number of those golden hour shots. A relationship seems to exist between jackdaws and deer, and the birds will land on the deer and eat mites from their fur, and on the whole the deer tolerate this. They particularly like the head, but will even eat from the anus, as seen in this footage. Yummy, bumbugs. But it certainly provides a great opportunity for some lovely photos. Well, that was a great morning. Gonna carry on, get a lot more shots throughout the rest of the day. Um, everything taken in this video has been shot on the Sony A9 with the Sony 200 to 600 lens. If you like what you see, uh, please check out my uh, social media where you can find me at Walks on the Wild Side. Um, you can also check out my website, walksonthewildside.co.uk. The deer rut is one of the most interesting events in the British wildlife calendar. Red deer in particular compete in elaborate rituals in order to earn the right to procreate. Male red deer, or stags, need to accumulate a harem of female deer, or hinds, to mate with. In the early stages of the rut, stags will roll in a puddle they've created of mud and their own urine, 
This is to cover themselves in pheromones. You know, for that smell that all the ladies like. This stag has just had a wee mud bath before going off to look for hinds. They will rub their antlers on trees and in the bracken. And this is to remove the velvety covering and show off the wood-like surface beneath. Sometimes they'll get bracken stuck in their antlers, which can make some pretty interesting pictures. Once a stag has established a harem, he will continue to grow it and accumulate hinds. Here we see a stag who spotted four hinds in the distance. He walks a long way to get them, and this is a risk, because another stag might come along and take his ready-built harem. He tries to guide them all back, but loses three. However, he's successful at adding one to his group. Here is a young stag who is in command of a harem. He needs to keep control of the group and keep them together, and so he herds them by running at them. He's doing well to control a group at such a young age, but he won't remain in this position of power for very long. As I take his portrait, he gives me a disapproving stare. Hinds all come into heat within a short period of a few weeks between the beginning of October and early November. Each hind is only on heat for about four hours a year, so the stag needs to be ready at all times. Because of this, he barely eats or sleeps, and tired, hungry stags, full of testosterone, can be really dangerous. Other stags may try to take control of the harem. First, the commanding stag will bellow and see if his challenger will back down. If not, then the stags will size each other up by walking in parallel to see who's bigger and more muscly. If neither stag yields, then it's time to fight. The challenging stag backed down and ran away because the commanding stag was stronger. Fights can go on for longer and lead to injuries or even fatality. The victor will go on to be a father by May or June of next year. This brutal ritual is one which is so rewarding to observe and to photograph. <coughs> so today's been great. The light has been absolutely fantastic. Uh, I've been able to use my teleconverter for much of the day because the ambient light has been so great, even with the loss of light uh, that the teleconverter brings. Um, so that's meant I've been able to keep my distance a little bit more from the deer, um, which is always helpful. And one final plug before I uh, close down for today. Um, I am hoping next season to run some uh, deer photography workshops during rutting season. So if any of you are interested in that, please head over to my website. Um, you can sign up for news there and I'm aiming to make those available before the end of the year. Um, thank you very much for watching this video today. If you've enjoyed it, please like and subscribe and I'll see you all soon.